we want to find the inverse of the function f of x equals three times e raised to the power of two x. The first thing we'll do is determine if the given function has an inverse function. Only one-to-one -one functions have inverse functions. A one-to-one -one function is a function where every output or every function value has only one input or one x value. So every y value can only have one corresponding x value. One way to determine whether a function is one-to-one -one is to use what's called a horizontal line test. To perform the horizontal line test, we begin by graphing the given function, as we see here in blue, and if a horizontal line never intersects the graph in more than one point, then the function passes the horizontal line test, and the function is one-to-one. -one. Looking at our function here, notice how no horizontal line would ever intersect this graph in more than one point, and therefore this function passes the horizontal line test and it's one to one, which means it does have an inverse function. So now that we know it has an inverse function, we can find it. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y. So we can write the given function as y equals three times e raised to the power of two x. And now to find the inverse function, we interchange the x and y variables, and therefore the inverse function would be x equals three times e raised to the power of two y. But now we need to solve this for y. So let's begin by dividing both sides by three. So now we have x divided by three equals e raised to the power of two y. Notice how the variable y is in the exponent. So if we take the natural log of both sides of the equation, here and here, we can apply the power property of logarithms, meaning on the right side, we can take the exponent and measure it as a product with natural log e. So we have natural log of x divided by three equals two y times natural log e. We didn't have to use natural log e in order to apply this log property, but notice how because this is base e, Natural log e is equal to one, so this simplifies nicely to just natural log x divided by three equals two y. So now to solve for y, we would divide both sides by two. So we have y is equal to this quotient, where y is the inverse function. So we'll use inverse function notation for y, and we'll say f inverse of x equals we could leave this as a quotient, but dividing by two is equivalent to multiplying by one half. So let's write this as one half times natural log of x divided by three. This would be our inverse function. But I do want to mention one more thing. Notice how we have natural log of a quotient. So we could apply another log property and write this as a difference of two logs. This is equivalent to f inverse of x equals, now we'd have one half times natural log x minus natural log three. And of course we could also distribute the one half. But to match our homework, I'll go ahead and leave it in this form here. And now before we go to check our answer, let's go ahead and graph our function and the inverse function on the same coordinate plane, and we'll also graph the line y equals x. So here's the given function in blue. Here's the graph of the inverse function in red. The reason we also want to graph y equals x is because remember, a function and its inverse are symmetrical across the line y equals x. And notice how if we were to fold this across the line y equals x, the two functions would match up perfectly, verifying we found the inverse function correctly. I hope you found this helpful.